Hey guys and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are looking at a slightly older figure. This is from April 1998. This of course is Cybertooth. Now this is quite a unique looking figure and that's exactly why I picked it up. It's very different and from the ones that we've been seeing, obviously this one is a lot older so it doesn't quite have that paint job or those details we're used to seeing. However, very unique so I thought we'd check it out anyway. This is from the Manga Spawn series, series 10, for ages five and up, which I still can't believe that these figures have five and up written on them, but yeah. So yeah, a very interesting looking figure. Unfortunately, we can see that his arm has fallen off in the packaging and this is almost out of its box anyway, so I don't feel too bad about opening this one like I have been saying uh, recently. But anyway, let's get him out of his box and check him out. Alright guys, so we got the box here and it's quite a nice box. I love this green, it works really well with the purple figure. I'm interested to see how well it'll look with the other figures in this line which I'll hopefully be picking up with 16 points of articulation and can stand on two feet or four. Pretty cool. And as you can see, yeah, he's missing his arm there but it is in the box, just sitting there. Um, yeah, don't know what happened, must have just popped out, but yeah, Cybertooth Series 10 and then we've got the Spawn logo with red background and red eyes and America's best-selling comic book, so always love that Todd McFarlane slips that on there. Not sure if it was true or not true, but anyway, that aside, we've got this like Japanese sticker on the side, so I don't know if this came from Japan or something strange like that, but yeah, I just thought that sticker was very odd. But Manga Samurai Spawn will be unboxing next time, and he looks like really cool, and that's why I picked him up, because he's just so unique, and I really want to start getting into collecting these sort of manga robot series from McFarlane. There we got Manga Cyber Violator there, Cyber Tooth, and Manga Overt Kill, and I'm not the biggest fan of Overt Kill, I've never really kind of liked how he looks, but that one looks really cool, so I'm going to try really hard to pick that one up. Also Manga Freak, really another unique one, and Manga Dead Spawn, so all of these figures are like really unique, so I'm going to try my hardest to pick them up. Then we've got Kiss with like a Psycho Circus thing, and then we've got McFarlane's monsters and the monster line is definitely something that I'm looking at possibly getting into as well we'll see trying to get all the spawn figures that I want first before delving into the other lines obviously there are a ton of other lines but yeah we'll just stick to spawn at the moment because uh, yeah we still got quite a few to collect so we've got some instructions here, the claws are all articulated, you can push the head forward and then of course put him on all fours like this which is how I'll probably display him. We also got the info card here, if you want to pause this and have a read, uh, please do. I'm not going to be reading it out but yeah, quite a little interesting lore story thing we've got going on here. At least I thought it was pretty cool but anyway we've got some other things here, you know the spawn line you can call. I don't think you can call it anymore though and comic book stores and all of that. But anyway, let's get him out of his box. Alright, so let's get him out of his box. So the box is pretty much like all the way open anyway. So yeah, I don't think any collector would probably want to have this one in the collection. So let's just pull him out here. And here he is. So yeah, really cool purple on the figure, that's actually what kind of drew it to me because it's not too many purple spawn figures that we get. And we will fix that arm in a second but yeah let's just pull him out. So he's actually got like a shoulder piece that slips over the arm and goes in there so that, that might actually be what caused it to come off. But yeah that just goes in there like that and yeah it's pretty much fixed. I assume that it'll probably pop out again but yeah let me know if you've got this figure and if you had that problem but uh yeah it could just be this one. So anyway let's check him out. So I'm already noticing that he is having some problems standing on those two legs which isn't surprising and you can kind of see that 
they are bent from being in the box, particularly that right one. But we'll check out the articulation here. So, so we've got some feet articulation. We've got the two kneecaps, the hips. The claws don't seem to want to move as easily as it said on the back, and that could be because they're all bent as well. They move a little bit, but yeah, not much. I don't think they would have the strength to be able to hold anything. Then we've got, obviously, the elbow and the shoulder, and this other shoulder seems, you know, well stuck in there. And we've also got the jaw, and inside the jaw there's actually a little face, so I guess you can stand him up on his two legs and have this guy looking out. Kind of an odd touch, but yeah. And then there's a bit in the head, obviously, and then the tail. So this is a little surprising. The tail is completely bendable. Um, the spikes on the end are not, though, but yeah, you can bend it however you want. This is also the other position they show to set him up in, which is the way I'll be displaying him because, yeah, I don't think he's going to stand up too well. However, this is a really good paint job. You can see that, you know, it's very crisp and reasonably detailed. Not as detailed as some other figures, but yeah, quite nice. And it looks really sharp. But unfortunately, we got this problem with the leg and you can see that it's just been, yeah, really bent inside the packaging, which yeah, really sucks. But I'll just pose him in a running pose. But anyway guys, onto the showcase and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. guys that has been a look at Cybertooth so let me know what you think of him down in the comments below for me yeah you know it's a bit of a hard one because this is a older figure so we obviously don't have the details and things that we have been seeing from like the early 2000s it was obviously just before that sort of stuff started happening but yeah this is such a unique figure and I really do like it I would like to point out that just because we don't have the details and stuff that we have been getting, it doesn't mean that he's any less detailed. I think that there's still quite a lot of detail and the paint job on him is relatively good. You know, there's no smudging, there's no paint where it shouldn't be. It's all pretty crisp. So that is quite nice. Obviously, yeah, he doesn't stand up too well. I didn't think that he would on two legs and I do like him on all fours anyway, but Obviously the box packaging has made him a bit squished to one side where one of his legs is kind of out and unfortunately that's not going to be fixed. Um, I don't really want to try and fix it myself, I probably could try but what I'm going to do is try and put him into a position or pose where I can kind of work with that. But besides that I'm really glad that I picked this one up. I'm looking forward to looking at the other ones in the series, next time we're going to be looking at manga samurai spawn and that's one that looks really really cool i'm gonna try and get the other ones that are in this series because i think that they're really unique and yeah i want to check them out so if that sounds good to you make sure you subscribe big thank you to all of you who are subscribing we just got to 431 so you know i am super happy with everybody who is subscribing um, i never really was putting this channel out there to I don't know do anything with it I just wanted to kind of document 
and show off my collection and just all of these really cool unique figures from like 20 years ago so big thank you to everybody who is subscribing also if we have a look at this chart so there's a lot of you that aren't subscribed so if you're going to be here anyway you may as well hit the subscribe button and uh yeah thank you to everybody who watched this i really appreciate it hit that like button leave me a comment and i'll see you guys on the next one